What's up guys, today we're going to be finally going over the Elemental Shards mod, which completely changes everything about Stasis builds and the way you can play Stasis in this game. And this will be the first of about four videos that I'm super excited to make with all the new mods finally coming out. So definitely stay tuned through the next few days. All the videos will be some of the best of the entire season. In this video, we're going to be first going over exactly what the mod does, then working it into some of my Stasis builds and seeing how I would use it. So after the hotfix yesterday, the compass got updated to have six mods, including elemental shards, which makes stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you. It does not apply to crucible, trials, or iron banner. And I've been waiting for this mod for the entire season. So looking at what it does, whenever you pick up a stasis shard, it will count as a stasis well, which means you'll get a chunk of all three of your abilities right off the bat, just like when you normally pick up any other type of well. But as you see, there is a cooldown on how often you can proc this mod and that is five seconds. So every single time you pick up a shard, there'll be a cooldown until the next shard that you pick up counts as a stasis will. And I understand why they had to put a cooldown in because of how many shards you can make that would have been completely busted. But at the same time, I think five seconds is a little bit too long. If you think about it with all the other builds in the game, for example, solar wills, I can easily make a solar will every second and pick it up. So why am I being limited to only one every five seconds? It just doesn't quite make a lot of sense. But with all that being said, I still think it is the best way to proc onto Might and Phantom Wisdom on all the different stasis builds. So how do you even make stasis shards? Well, every character has a way of making it. The Warlock one is Glacial Harvest, where you freeze the target will create a stasis shard. And this one is by far the easiest one to use. Just simply freezing them will create the shard, which means it works with all of your abilities along with the Scepter extremely well. And you'll just have shards all over the place with a stasis build. The Hunter one is very similar, but now instead of just freezing them, it's killing a slowed or frozen target will spawn in the shard, nearly just as easy to use as the Warlock one. And this pairs extremely well with the Stasis Shurikens. Every single time you throw one, you'll get multiple kills, which will create multiple shards. Once again, pick that up, there will be that five second cooldown. And finally on Titan, the most inconvenient one is Tectonic Harvest. This one, it will create shards whenever you shatter a Stasis Crystal, which pretty much locks you into having to use Glacier Grenade and outside of that, the only other way to shatter a crystal would be from your super. So like I said, definitely not the most convenient one, but this one does not revolve around targets at all. Just simply shattering the crystal will spawn in the shards, doesn't matter if there's enemies nearby or not. So now moving on to how I would use this in my builds, starting with the Warlock one, I would completely drop Bleak Watcher and make those purely about my Rift. So Frost Pulse and also Glacial Harvest. And now for my Fragments, I have Bonds for Super Energy, Refraction for my Rift. Then we also have fissures to increase the radius and damage of the actual shatters. And finally, we have rhyme to get an overshield from all the shards we collect. Then looking at my armor and mod setup, first looking at my exotic armor piece, so I have the mantle of battle harmony, which will allow me to get my super extremely quick. I have reaping well maker to make my next weapon kill create a void elemental well. And when I pick up that void well, I have well of utility, which will give me more of my rift back. And every single time I place my rift, I have double dynamo to get a lot of super energy. Then on our class item, we have the Elemental Shards mod to convert all of our shards to Stasis Wells. And when we pick up those shards, we will also proc Phantom Might for the 25% increase to our weapon damage. Then also Phantom Wisdom to max out our intellect and help us get our super extremely quick. And then when we convert the Scepter to Overcharge mode, also maintain our super and make the perk last forever. So looking at how all that works in the game, you just simply go around putting down your Rift, get a kill, it'll create a Void Well, pick that up, and you should pretty much have your next well instantly as long as you freeze enough enemies and kill them you should be good to have your next riff then you just rinse and repeat roughly four times and you already have your super convert your scepter to the overcharge mode and just start going crazy and once again you will get enough super back from all the kills to out regen the drain of the super itself from the callous perk and while you're doing all this you'll be proccing phantom might constantly which will give you 25 percent more damage for the scepter adding that on top of the callous 80 percent increase it is just straight up melting everything in the game. It is extremely strong. And now moving on to the Hunter build, this one will take advantage of Thermoclastic Blooming, which just got re-enabled. I will be making a video tomorrow going over this and cool combos for all three characters, so I won't break it down too heavily in this video. But whenever we get Stasis Melee Kills, we'll create an Orb of Power, which will work perfectly for the build we're about to show off. So looking at our subclass, pretty much the same as the last time I made a build on this character. We have Fissures, Hunger, Fractures, and also Bonds. Then looking at our weapons, we have Scepter, whatever primary of choice, then Reads Regret. Now looking at our exotic armor, we have Start Your Skills, only for the first part where we'll get additional super energy from Orbs of Power. 
Then if we look at the rest of the build and the mods, the first one we'll be using is Melee Wellmaker, which we'll be spamming or Gherkins all over the place with this build. We can also pair out double hands on to increase the super from our melee kills. We have Elemental Shards to get the Stasis Wells. Once again, we have Thermal Classic Blooming as we showed off. Melee Kickstart to get a chunk of our melee back instantly. Then moving on to the next set of mods, whenever we pick up those shards, we'll proc Font of Wisdom, which will max out our intellect. Then we have Font of Might once again for that 25% increase to weapon damage. And we also have two Innervations, which will help us get our grenade back when we pick up all those orbs of power. We have Well Potency from Artifact to give us a huge chunk of super energy whenever we pick up the wells along with the shards. And we also have this Artifact mod right here to stun Overlook Champions with all of our shurikens. So there's definitely a lot going on there, but how it works in the game is you just go around spamming your shurikens, which will spawn shards and wells, both of which will count as stasis wells, which will proc both wisdom and font of might constantly. Picking up these shards will also give you infinite shurikens to throw around, all of which will be creating orbs of power. Picking those up will give you huge chunks of super energy because of sorry, your skills, and you'll also be getting chunks of super from all of the shards and the wells. So before you know it, you already have your super. I think it's even faster than the Warlock one. And then you simply convert your Scepter to the Overcharge mode. And just like the Warlock build, you have it forever. I think it's even easier to maintain your super with this compared to the Warlock one. So yeah, that build is pretty crazy. And now moving on to the Titan build, which I don't think is quite there. I think it's still missing one mod, which we don't have yet. But looking at all my subclass stuff, if you want to pause it, you can. Then we have the Scepter, Primary Choice, and the Reeves Regret like usual. We have the Precious Scars, which will heal not only us, but our allies whenever we get kills with the Scepter, which is pretty cool. I'm still looking to make an individual video on this exotic. But now looking at the mods we'll be using. The first one will be Explosive Wellmaker. Whenever we get all those Stasis kills, it'll create Solar Elemental Wells. Then when we pick up those Solar Wells, we have Well of Ordnance to get an extra chunk of our grenade, roughly 30%. We also have Double Ashes Assets to help get our super even quicker. And every single time we throw down our grenade and slide through it, we'll create shards and pick those up. We have elemental shards to make them elemental wells. We also have double grenade kickstart to help get the first 30% of our grenade back. And once again, every single time we pick up those shards, we'll be proccing Font of Wisdom to max out our intellect and also Font of Might for that 25% damage increase. But once this last stasis mod is available in the game, I'll be replacing Font of Wisdom with this one right here, Well of Restoration. Should give you a chunk of your lowest ability when you pick up a stasis elemental well, which means a stasis shard. And finally, on my boots, I have Double Innervation to help get our grenade back when we pick up Orbs of Power. So this one is just like the other ones. The point is to try to get your super extremely quick by throwing down your glacial grenade and sliding through it. And when you do that, you'll get the first roughly 30% from grenade kickstarts. Then the next roughly 30% from the Solar Elemental Well. And when you pick up a shard, it should give you a little bit of chunk from it counting as a Stasis Well. And in the future, once we get that Stasis mod, I think you'll be able to infinitely combo your grenade with no downtime. It'll definitely be closer than it is right now. Right now, you still have to wait a few seconds of the improved grenade recharge rate from the Fragment. But overall, I'm super happy with all three of the builds. They're all extremely strong. I think the Hunter one is arguably one of the best stasis builds in the entire game. You get your super so, so fast with everything going on. Then once you have your super, you convert the Scepter into the overcharge mode and you just simply have it until you run out of ammo. It is that crazy. And all these builds have Font of Wisdom and Font of Might, which will help you maintain the Catalyst perk once you convert it. And will give you that 25% more damage at all times, which makes it even crazier. So overall, these builds are extremely strong. Definitely some of the best ways to take advantage of the Scepter along with its Catalyst. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for the commentary. Definitely look forward to tomorrow's video where I show off a bunch of really cool combos for Thermoclastic Blooming. I'm super excited about that. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.
Men's hive signatures in a facility up ahead.